Hey, what's cracking, YouTube? This is week number two of my weekly fragrance playlist, volume two, Scents and Stanzas. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Brandon and welcome to Da Vinci's Alchemist. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If this is your first time, if you like what you see, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to mash the shit out of that like button and turn on those notifications. So every week, I do a weekly fragrance playlist that has to do with music that I hear or think of when I put on a fragrance for that day. I started off my week this week on Wednesday. Uh, I woke up in the morning, was getting ready for work, and I was kind of thinking of my grandpa the night before. I think I had a dream of him. And my grandpa passed away probably a good 12, 13 years ago. He wore Old Spice, so I of course have a bottle of Old Spice. So when I put this on, the woods and the spice, it really kind of brought me back to right around Christmas time when I'd hang out with uh, grandpa and grandma and like the whole family, you know. And my grandpa really, really liked um, It's a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. So that kind of flooded into my senses when I put this on for some reason, even though it's nowhere near Christmas. So that was the song that came to me for Wednesday. So on Thursday, I was feeling kind of frisky, feeling kind of in it, you know what I mean? So I reached for Bull's Blood by Imaginary Author. This to me is kind of exotic. It's kind of surreal. It's got this dark musk and this tobacco going on. So the song that I heard in my head that time when I put this on, like immediately, was My God is the Sun by Queens of the Stone Age. That intro riff, man, it's really got this pretty intense groove to it. If you never heard that song, you should check it out because that son of a bitch is awesome. So on Friday, uh, you know, I was feeling Friday. It was, it was a good Friday. I was ready to have my weekend, ready to get rolling, and I decided I'd reach for a fragrance that I haven't had in like a long time. Um, and typically I've only worn this in the winter and so I've never really seen what it could do in the summer. So I reached for Individual by Mont Blanc. So this has this very, you know, uh, kind of soft, calming, uh, raspberry fabric softener. It, it, this shit's fuzzy. That's the best, like to me it feels fuzzy and it just kind of made me feel really excited about the day and I just started hearing immediately uh, Summertime by DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince and that's an old track and that's really got this kind of you know good step to it and you cannot help but listen to that song and smile and feel a pretty certain groove about it you know what I'm saying the thing about this <clears throat> is that I've never had this in the summer right and I did not realize what a longevity beast this son of a bitch is. I mean, we're talking put it on at five in the morning, smelling it all day. By the time I took my uh, work clothes off at around five o'clock to jump in the shower, I could still smell it. It was still kicking. Washed off in the shower, but I mean, 12 hours of still having that, that vibe, that soft, warm, fuzzy vibe, man, that was awesome. So that leads me to Saturday. I was feeling myself, I was having a good weekend. I feel like I got a lot accomplished during the week and I just kind of wanted something a little rowdy. Uh, so I reached for Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Now this is the 2018. I've never tried the, uh, I think it's private selection. Never tried any of their high-end stuff, but I know that this for me is damn near signature scent worthy. I mean, it is just, dude. It, it's sexy, it's this, this one is what should have been called fucking fabulous. Not, I mean, I've never smelled the other one, the actual fucking fabulous by Tom Ford, but this one, cause this is motherfucking fabulous. It's just so awesome. So when I put this on, I kind of felt like a badass. I always feel like a badass when I put this on. The sillage that you get on that thing is for days, man. Like. I mean, 20 feet behind you, people are like, oh damn, oh damn. And it's legitimately just an awesome fragrance. So what popped into my head because I was feeling like a badass, 
Smooth Criminal by Michael Jackson, baby. I mean, shit. Talk about a groove song right there. Great song. Now, I know that ombre leather is not typically, uh, it's not typically looked at, you know, as a summertime fragrance. I know that a lot of people are like, you gotta wear it in the fall, you gotta wear it in the winter. But you know what I say to those motherfuckers? I woke up on Sunday, had a good breakfast, hung out with my dog a little bit, took him for a walk, came back, decided that I wanted to have something a little more old school. So I put on Marc Jacobs' Bang. Now, I am down to the dregs. I think maybe I've got a few more days left of wearing in this bottle, and that's it. And I can't find this anywhere. Anywhere. Uh, I don't know how the world feels about Marc Jacobs' Bang, but it's got this pepper that just kicks your ass, and I love this. I absolutely love it. What it equated to me to that was the days when I used to party, the days that I used to kind of get crazy. And so Hypnotized by Notorious B.I.G. popped into my head during that song. And I literally, I, I put that on and I went right to Spotify and I listened to that track on repeat like three or four times and then just continued on the whatever playlist it was. And it was just 90s, early 2000s hip hop, man. It was the best day. It was so great. Awesome. If you can get a sample of this somehow or you can get your hands on this, don't save it for yourself. Call me. Text me. Uh, well, you guys don't have my number. DM me because I want some more of that because I love that shit. So that shitty day of the week happens, man. It's Monday. It's the first day of the work week. Now, typically everyone's like, you know, oh, F Monday. Screw Monday. Oh, Monday's the worst. I'm trying to change up that narrative for myself. Trying to look at Monday as the gateway to a great week, right? Right? Get a little, uh, get a little pizzazz going on. So, I wanted something a little fresh, something that would move me, something that would last all day, and that, my friends, is Trey Nui by Armoff. This is a clone of Green Irish Tweed. Now, I have a sample of Green Irish Tweed. Um, I have not tested them against each other yet, so I really don't know for sure how that all works. I just know that this bad boy smells pretty goddamn awesome. And this bad boy is a beast. Again, all day long with this thing, man. Five o'clock in the morning I put it on, came home, stripped off the clothes. Yeah, that's right. I got naked. I could still smell that shit, man. It was great. It was awesome. Now when I put that on, maybe I'm sure it had everything to do with the fact that it was the work week starting and everything, but Huey Lewis in the news, working for a living. Take what I've been given, cause I'm working for a living. That's a great track. That's a really, really great track. And talk about something that'll get you in the mood to get your ass in gear at work. Listen to it on the way to the job site. Had a great day. So that leads me to today. This morning, I wanted, uh, I wanted to feel a little classic. It was the, the end of the playlist for the week. Gonna move on to volume three next week. So I grabbed, and I only got the small bottle, I got a wee bottle of Replica at the Barber's by Maison Martin Margiela. That is a, I, I believe it's referred to as a fougere. Uh, it's got a really classy kind of shaving cream kind of scent going on. Um, and I think because of that shaving cream and at the Barber's, it, it really just made me think about like barbershop quartets and shit like that. And when I think about barbershop quartets, honestly, the song For the Longest Time by Billy Joel comes into my head. Cause man, that chorus comes in and those guys are doo-wopping and it's like acapella and shit. Great, great song. And it worked really good with that fragrance and it really kind of brought that together. So there you have it. There's volume two, week number two, my weekly playlist, man. Sense and Stanzas. I hope you guys like it. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing these videos for sure next week, volume three. You gotta come back for that for sure. So uh, like I say, man, hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Like I just appreciate you guys' support. I love that you keep coming back and checking out my channel. I know I said it before, but if you wanna get notifications, man, ring that bell. It'll let you know when I got videos dropping. I'm trying to do two a week right now. So 
Uh, keep your eyes on the lookout. The more subscribers that I get, I'm gonna start doing some giveaways. I just got a really great uh, opportunity from Olfactif, uh, one of the monthly fragrance subscriptions that I get and they gave me a really great opportunity, but I wanna wait a little bit before I kinda of throw that in. Uh, but I also got some cool stuff to give away from them as well. So, thanks guys again for coming out. I'll see you next time. Whatever it is you're doing, keep calm, stink pretty.